Looks like you got something on your mind. Yeah, so see that leaner over there in the woods? It's kind of like leaning across our little trail there. And uh, it's just being held up by another basically rotten tree. It's got, you can see where it goes up into the, sort of the crotch of that tree over there. Anyway, so we need to get that thing down. Yeah. It's not a huge tree. I don't know, what, 30, 40 feet maybe? Anyway, um, so I need to approach it from this road over here and there's some other dead trees on the ground around it. So I need to kind of clean that area up and then hopefully I can grab that tree at the base and start sliding it back and get it off of that other dead tree over there and eventually we'll cut that down too. But that's the plan. Well, it's a good plan because that's been annoying us now for a little bit. Yeah, we were kind of hoping the latest windstorms would have blown that over. Speaking of which, look at that little tree. What little tree? I don't oh. think that was like that before, was it? I don't I don't think so. No, I think we had to knock that down a long time ago if we had seen it. I think it's this guy right I'm trying to put in the middle of my video there, but he's smallish. Hmm. Yeah, he's a little guy. I don't I don't recall seeing him before. All right, so he's got to come down. And <laughs> this All whole right, so area looks like it's, the trees are leaning awkwardly. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, man. What's wrong with that area? We call it the Deadwood Forest. So apparently some storms came through. wasn't our property. This one is. No, actually, that one really wasn't our property either. And so now it's time to kind of clean up. Yeah. Um, we've got uh, all kinds of uh, treetops and cuttings and stuff from trees. Eventually we're gonna have to rent a chipper. Yeah. Um, and get it out here and make some mulch. Um, and then kind of make some hookah culture beds for planting. Cool. So thought about digging a big hole, about, you know, maybe 12 by 12 by about four feet deep. Mm -hmm. Put the dirt aside, load all this brush and stuff from the tops of these trees that have been brought down and some of the other stuff that we've gathered up throw it in that hole and then bury it with the dirt that came out of the hole. Let that set for a few years and come back and dig it up. Probably be some good compost. Yeah, that's what they say, right? Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, either that or chip it. That'll make it compost faster, wouldn't it? And we can use the <laughs> chips. So that costs us, I don't know, what, about 300 bucks a day for things to run a good chipper. Yeah. So we'd probably end up with a lot more than $300 worth of uh, wood chips, maybe. It's a lot of chips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let me get going. All right, let's get to it. All right. I have to start this correctly. So this is the newest leaner. We've been having some high winds, um, so didn't realize that this guy was a problem until just looking. So. Oh, interesting. I don't know if he broke off somewhere, but he's uh, that's a, definitely his meat. So that will be one guy that uh, will come down. And then you see the big one that we're after kind of points to it. That leaner is caught in the grass of that other tree. And so you can see the treetop swaying as. Just trying to make his way in to get towards that uh, that tree to drag him out.
one more log on top of that leaner that we're going to have to remove, but it's a short piece. tractor. Okay, <laughs> that's a um, good so idea. What you might want to do is just go ahead and put a chain on him, which is kind of what I thought I'd be doing anyway. Right? Put a chain around him and get back there and just drag him back that way because he's caught up in that notch up there. Yeah. Really tighter now than he actually was before. Okay. So I think we'll we'll take a quick break. 
get a chain and uh, you might just use tractor. Yeah. And I then, think then so. haul him back out of there. Sounds like a good plan. All right. All right. See you on the flip side. All right. Just a close up of uh, what we got here. So the tree definitely is out, uh, out of the ground. Um, but we are going to tie a chain around it and drag it the rest of the way out because now it's really bound tight into uh, the crotch of that tree that you see. And it will be safer for us and give us more distance with the train, uh, chain and tractor. So there we go. Well, tractor was spinning his wheels. Get traction with that tractor, plenty of power, not enough traction. Let's drive with tracks. All right. Probably got a bigger torque up back there, loosening our hook up. Yeah, that's true. good. She ain't blown in the wind no more. Right. I don't know. Take, take brother Steel out here. I don't know, man. It might be a saw log or two in that. We can get some, uh, get some fence posts. It's a uh, spruce, so it won't last long, but hey, you know, <laughs> we can use them as garden posts. So there's the end of her there. Yep. And I guess that was the tree. Yep, there's a notch and that's a dead tree right there. Yeah, there's one. There's two knots. So I think it's the one to the right that it was caught up in. Or, or no, it was the closest left. one. Okay, the yeah. left. Okay. Yeah, the other one's still got some. He's got some uh, leaves on the top of it. He's yeah. got a really dead looking limb there. Yeah, he does. But he does got leaves on the top of him, so he's still alive. That one there that the that the tree was hung up in, he, he looks pretty dead. I think he's done. I don't see any leaves of him. And the other one over there is probably dead too. He's just yeah. he just don't know it yet. <laughs> all right it's done it's down all right. all right so he's down and looks like might get some saw logs out of this yep let's see how rotten she is inside let's take a uh, um i think actually uh probably ought to prop him up somehow keep my saw out of the dirt yep let's do that
like you're pulling out the rest of it, the top of it. Yeah. I don't know if you'll get much off of that. Yeah, well, some uh, mulch material. There might be one more post in it. You know, I think we might be able to get a four by six post out of that. Oh, yeah, maybe so. You want to see maybe two. Um, I wouldn't count on much more than that. We just cut it down into the biggest cant we can get out of it and then figure out what kind of what size timber we can get out of that. It's got a lot, it's gonna have a lot of knots and being spruce. It's gonna yeah. be like, yeah, yeah, those knots are gonna, you gotta saw it slow. Mm-hmm. So, I guess we'll cut a few more pieces off of this. Um, clean it up a little bit. Um, At least two more 12 footers. So we get. Well, after we got the leaner down, we cleaned up a little bit. We moved uh, the leaner and cut them up into, uh, I think it was 12 feet lengths. And uh, then we just started clearing out the area. and also got rid of some more dead wood so one step closer to what we think it would look like